Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Ked So Real. Today I will be creating this pink purple cut crease eyeshadow tutorial along with voiceover. Please stay tuned for this amazing art. I'll be using the color mine lotion as my primer I'm using a flat foundation brush to apply the color mine lotion onto my skin I'm also smoothing out the areas that I have applied the color mine lotion onto I am also be using the Maybelline baby skin pore eraser this thing is amazing it instantly smooths your pores there I'm outlining the shape of my brow using a dark brown eyebrow pencil to get that sharp precise look I will be cleaning up with some LA girl pro concealer to clean up and I'm filling in the brows and I'm using a brown eyebrow pencil just to get that gradient effect at the front and I'm using the spoolie to brush that into place the shade in the LA girl pro concealer is a light yellow you don't have to use this shade you can use any concealer shade or concealer that you prefer I'm also going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Medium Beige to outline the top of my brow. Okay. And this is a very good step. This is a concealer. If you make any mistake, you can use the concealer to correct that mistake that you have made. I'm going to go ahead and blend out the concealer that we just applied. And you want to ensure that you blend downwards onto your eyelids in preparation for your eyeshadows. Mm -hmm. I will also be setting my eyelids that I've just primed with a Sasha Buttercup setting powder or loose powder. And the palette that I'm using today is the Island Gal from Yardi Cosmetics. <laughs> I'm so excited, the colors are very pretty. The first shade I'll be using is the shade, the name Baby Girl. And I'm applying it with a flat shadow brush, tapping it into my skin and blending windshield wiper motion, circular motions as well. And you wanna ensure that you blend and tap, and you can also go ahead and build the color up. The second shade is the Bonanonos. <laughs> And as you can see, I'm also winging out the colors at the end. The next shade that I'll take is the Slimmers in purple shade. And I'm blending. And that shade is browning. And I'm using a pencil shader brush to apply it. And I'm going to blend with a small tapered blending brush. <laughs> so pretty. I'm using my color vitamin C wipe to clean up any fallouts of the eyeshadows. Also, I'm going to cut the crease using that same shade, the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade light yellow. And I'm doing a winged cut crease look today. So I'm taking my time. I'm packing on some concealer right, and winging it out then I'm gonna go into my nude palette to apply a light shimmery shade onto the cut crease that I've just cut and patting it onto my lid also cutting the next eye cutting the crease 
you have to be very precise and it's best when you're cutting the crease to tap the concealer into the shape that you want I find that when you swipe it it you know it can go into other directions that you don't want it to go so it's best to tap it into I'm just ensuring that everything is well cleaned and outlined. I'm using that same shade there. We're also going to be adding some glitter onto the cut crease and I'm lining. I'm not doing a wing today. I'm just giving it a small line to prepare for my lash. And the lash is a 30mm. It is very cute. I'm wetting my brush with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray and I'm going to blend out my foundation. I'm also going to use my beauty sponge to continue or to smooth the areas that I have applied the foundation onto. <laughs> I'm using that same light yellow shade to highlight under eyes, my cupid's bow, my chin, my forehead, my nose and I'm going to blend with my beauty sponge. Right? And you can get those sponges anywhere at your local beauty store. This one is so soft and it's, it's expand my god i'm telling you when it expands it's so huge <laughs> when you wet or when you dump it in some water it expands huger than the normal um, blending sponges and i'm using the same sasha buttercup setting um setting powder to apply it onto my highlight so they don't crease and i'm going in with my bronzer <laughs> And you want to, when you're applying your bronzer or your contour, you want to blend up. So it gives the effect that your face is lifted up. I'm contouring my nose. Not a heavy contour today for my nose. Just going in slight, light handed. And I'm going to also set my contour or highlight. <laughs> I'm also using a purple shade, the same purple shade Flimmers in the Yardi Cosmetic palette. I'm using it to smoke out the my under eye. And I'm brushing away all that excess powder that I've just applied onto my skin. That Sasha Buttercup powder. And I'm using the setting spray to set everything into place. <laughs> this thing is a refresher. <laughs> yeah, and here is applying some shimmery shade into my um, inner corner of my eyes, underneath my brow bone, just to highlight them a bit more. <laughs> so pretty. I'm very obsessed with this look today guys and I'm using some blush it's a Santi blush that I picked up at Fontana Pharmacy in Montego Bay this thing is so amazing and the highlight that I've used is the LA Girl Pro I think it's a strobe strobing highlighter Just highlighting all the areas that I've highlighted. My cupid's bow, my chin, my forehead, my nose. And I'm lining my lip with a brown lip liner. And I'll be using the Maybelline lipstick in the shade Rose. Ro I think it was Rose. And my NYX 
neon pink shade that I love so much. And I'm just ensuring that my lips are so cute. And I'm looking so nice today guys. I'm obsessed with this look and I hope you enjoy it as well. Thanks for watching my video guys and remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, tell a friend to tell someone about my channel guys. I love you so much. See you all in my next video. Bye. I just wanna know what's on your mind.